Hi, today in this video we're going to show you how to install Marksware's new version of FlightCheck version 6.90. FlightCheck is the pre-flight and packaging tool for Adobe Creative Suite, Quark Express, and many other file formats including PDF and image files as well. When you order FlightCheck online, via our store, or via a local reseller, you'll be delivered the product via email. The email will look similar to this. It'll be formatted pretty much just like this. This will be your product code which you should save and use for registration later. This will be your unique download URL. This is very important to save. This is where the latest installer will always be available. There is nothing on Marksware.com. Everything will go through the Marks Control, our new licensing technology. It's very easy to use. Just click here and follow the instructions. We'll show you how that works now. What you then get is this screen in your web browser. It's the end user license agreement. You must read and understand this and then quickly hit I agree and the download button will activate so you can download the installer now. Let's click download and get started. You see it's a very fast download. Then I get a folder with all components for my flight check leave the components like this. You might want to move it, for instance, into your Applications folder. That's fine. These data files and other file uh, folders may be needed for setting up your flight deck later. You can read the release notes here or check out the flight deck installation PDF. Let's take a quick peek at that right now. There are some very important points to be aware of and the flight check installation, activation, and registration manual goes over those in detail. The system requirements require Mac OS 10.6.8 or higher, an Intel-based Mac, and the rest is quite clear. Most importantly also to note an internet connection to activate and register flight check. That connection only has to be for a few minutes, if, if only that. Like we just went over, you decompress the file, and you move it to your applications folder or wherever you like really but just make sure you don't move the flight check icon out of the folder they should note on 10.8.x there is a new security measure which Apple added if you're having problems with the download for instance this message is coming up flightcheck.app can't be opened because it's from an unidentified developer change the default setting in your preferences which is covered here Flight check activation. Start up flight check, and we'll go over this in a moment. If there are any problems, please refer to this PDF for further information. For instance, if it fails, what you can do. For instance, setting up proxy information so you can activate your license. Registration is required for support and perhaps nice for special promotions in the future. However, not required. We do recommend you do it, however. Of course, you never know when you'll need tech support. Now, what I like to do is then take the flight check icon, the application file, and put it in my dock. And now I'm going to get rid of that old flight check there. So there we have it, ready to go. And now let's launch it and see what happens. Flagic is an application you download from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Yes, we do. The fonts database is now loading, as it says there, and indexing all your fonts. And now we get these screens. I'm purposefully uh, not showing you what's down here below because that is the unique uh, number or product ID that you'll need for registering your product and can use to get your unique download once again as well if you happen to lose that URL. So we felt this information we can register the product. I'm going to choose not to do that right now but we do recommend you do this so you can get your tech support and special offers in the future. The most important screen here is we see now that FlightCheck version 6.90 for the Mac is ready to use. It's been activated with the internet connection I have. It was 
that quick. It just happens. Once again, if there are problems with your proxy or firewall, see the manual for more information. And if you need further help, go to MarkSchroer.com and go to the support page and fill out the form to get further help. All right, let's close this to see how FlyCheck 6.9 works. Now, to use FlyCheck, it's quite easy. You just take any file, any document you might want to check, InDesign, Quark, Illustrator, Photoshop, PDF, TIFF, EPS, you name it, and you drop it on the FlyCheck icon. You can go down the dock as well. Just drag and drop it on the FlyCheck, and FlyCheck does its thing. And very quickly, you get a list of results in plain English what the problems might be. We'll have other videos demonstrating how FlyCheck fully works. The next screen is the main screen where you get all details on the file. And this is where you should look to find very important details about your file. For instance, we see that fonts are used in this image. It's a PDF file placed within InDesign. And you see that the font is actually missing. The screen font is missing for this. So it might look different on screen than how it will print. So very interesting little things FlightCheck can tell you and very important things such as resolution, etc. The heart of FlightCheck is the ground controls. It's important to set these up perhaps with your printer or service provider or someone in your company who understands prepress or repro at a deeper level. Here you can turn on a warning and two times click is oh, an error, red. So blue are warnings, red are errors, and nothing means you're checking for nothing. When a file is pre-flighted, it will tell you if you had this on, there would be something flagged, ASCII data in that case. So very important to set these checks up, and you can save these and make new sets, etc. Just one quick note, FlightCheck is long known for checking InDesign and Quark Express. However, FlightCheck will also check Adobe Illustrator. I can also hit File Open in FlightCheck, and if I select an Illustrator file or a Photoshop file, they'll both be able to be pre-flooded. Let's check the Illustrator file. You get the results. You get the main window with all potential problems. See RGB used. But very important for many is that FlightCheck will also package, or as we call it, collect your files, InDesign, Quark Express, but also Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop. So we can collect the job with all fonts and images used, and this is very important if you need to archive or send this file on to be further worked on down the workflow. There we go. Everything collected into one folder for sending to the next party. It'll even compress the file. And let's just show you how we can check a Photoshop file the same way. .psd file, open it in FlightCheck. Results window, main window. We hit collect or package. And it'll collect this Adobe Photoshop CS6 or lower file so we can send it to the next party in the workflow with all fonts, images, and graphics used. Very powerful. Last thing I want to show you here in Flight Check or go over are some of the new things to uh, be aware of. Flight Check 6.9 adds support for CS6. It already had support for Quark 9 for those Quark users out there. It has, of course, also support for Adobe Illustrator CS6 and as we just saw, Photoshop CS6 documents as well. Pre-flight and package Illustrator and Photoshop files. Improved handling of EPS files in design documents and a lot of other improvements and other issues which uh, were fixed and uh, most importantly for a lot of people is the activation is a lot easier now as you saw. And we have the system requirements down so there. That's FlyCheck version 6.90. We hope this installation and activation video has helped you get started with FlyCheck quickly and easily. If you have any questions or comments, please always feel free to contact us at marchware.com and see the contact section or the support form which is here. Thank you. This is David Dilling from Marksware, signing off.